This is Artifacts of Mars, and I want to ask a question about the James Foley murder video. We got a problem because all too many people, all too many people believe what they're seeing there, and it's all wrong. I'm not saying he isn't dead, I'm not saying he wasn't murdered, but there's one red flag in that video after another. One of the red flags is you look at the uh, section that shows the tyrant in chief, Obama, up there talking about this situation. You see the little noise bars on the screen. And generally speaking, in this area, era, you shouldn't have that. So I wonder about that. You know, they're intercepting news feed. But then, they uh, did what they did with the beheading part, and it makes me wonder even more. Because in the beheading part of the video, where the guy's talking, I don't know how to tell people this while still being tactful. This was done on a movie set or a movie studio. Might be outdoors, might be an indoor studio, I can't really tell. This is an expensive video. They uh, put some money into it, I'll tell you that much. They're using high-end cameras. You can see a little flag up on the left. A uh, handheld video camera wouldn't have that, in all likelihood. I wouldn't think there might might be some that do. Well, this was not handheld. It was obviously on a tripod. You know, they didn't take this guy out in the middle of desert somewhere and do this. That's my point. Um... You see they're coming around frequently to different angles and such. Basically this was done in a series of video clips. I do the same thing on my YouTube videos lots of times. When I'm on a rant like this, I don't do it. But if I'm doing, did something dramatic, yeah, I, you know, I'll do the same damn thing that this guy was do doing. I'll, uh, you know, shoot things from different angles and split things up into clips. That's what they did. They were using a number of different video clips. I know this because I do the same thing. Don't challenge me on it. I do the same thing all the time. Um, the body looked real, for what it's worth. You know, when the guy was talking, he wasn't sweating. And this is a key point. There wasn't any sweat on his face. Where are they, supposedly? They're out in the desert, right? It's hot out in the desert. Yet, there wasn't a drop of sweat on his body, on his face anywhere. To me, this says that this was done in the air-conditioned studio in all likelihood. I tried to see if those clouds in the sky were moving, and they kept changing the angle so frequently I couldn't even tell. Most likely this was, well there's any question, it was done in a studio or at least a movie set. It was in an air-conditioned place. Almost certainly. Because it would have to be hot out there in the desert, there wasn't any sweat on the sky. I checked to see if the sun angle changed, it didn't. And that further adds to the mystery because if they used different video clips and assembled it into a big package and the uh some would have changed angles some. It didn't, so it looks like this was done with with professional lighting. 
and professional tripod mounting cameras and of course professional editing and they had the scrolling in from the left. Now these are available programs. But you know, I'm sure it would be easy for them to obtain them. But the point here is that this was professional editing this is a prepackaged product it's I'm trying to be tactful the I'm assuming the guy really is dead. I don't it looked like it was, but I'm sorry, this video doesn't cut it. It's uh this is bovine excrement, to put it politely. I'm just going to say it. This is bullshit. Uh, this wasn't some sand nigger out in the desert with a knife and somebody else holding a handheld camera. This was a professional job. As Alex Jones said, it's definitely propaganda. Whether he's dead or not, that's another issue. I'm not saying that he isn't dead. I am saying that this was a professional job. It's been packaged and edited a certain way. With probably high-end equipment and expert video editing. They can do things that I don't even have the capability of doing. So, uh, I do this stuff myself, so don't challenge me on this. I do it all the time for YouTube videos. I know what I'm seeing. Don't give me any bullshit, alright? Uh, this video's bullshit, to be honest with you. Whether I actually killed him or not, I can't answer that. The body looked real, but I don't know. I gotta take another look at the video. But this is bullshit, alright? I don't think his clothes have very much blood on them, if I remember right. And that would be a sign well, that it, this is another studio job. And the guy wasn't struggling or you know, fighting or anything, he was talking openly and saying, yeah, this is America that did this to me, and I'd be struggling and fighting, I'd be biting a sand nigger there, or whatever he is. It's bullshit. Pure, unadulterated bullshit. I gotta take another look at the video, but if you people think there isn't anything wrong, that you're seeing exactly what you're expected to see, then I will be happy to sell you a bridge in Brooklyn for 500 bucks. And people are such suckers. No matter of fact, some Mars. Oh, uh, and that's for ISIS. Give me a squadron of bombers and a few dozen neutron bombs and I'll take care of this. So I don't know anything about flying, but we'll pick out our targets and we'll put them into ISIS. Sheesh. Use battlefield nuclear weapons and get them out of there. Unbelievable. 